Cal and Stanford won in our conference. We, myself, you, the listeners, have built such a great bond, such a great league, these 16 teams. And now there are talks of the Big 12 expanding to 20 teams, being the largest conference in college football. But alas, to do so, that would mean we have to take Cal and Stanford. The first thing I want you to know, and I, this will be a very educational podcast. I want to dive deep into there are reasons not to take these teams. It's not just, a, oh, I don't think I like them. Oh, they haven't been very good at football. Let's just not take them. No, there are legitimate reasons not to do this. There are legitimate reasons that when you go to the water cooler and and Gary, the guy across the office who's in his cubicle and just doesn't know a lot about sports, and he's like, "Hey, man, what do you think about what do you think about or hey, woman, what do you think about the old uh, Cal and Stanford going to the Big Twelve? You slap him right across the face. I don't condone violence. Figuratively slap him with knowledge, because Stanford, hell of an endowment, a lot of money, right? A lot of money, good education. Their athletics are not going to bring you money." Their athletic, the Stanford football is not going to bring you money. Cal, bottom five in the country in ticket sales. Stanford struggles to fill a stadium that's in Palo Alto. I would make any excuse to go to Palo Alto. They're they're based around education. Make no mistake. The Big 12 has never screamed at anybody. We're the best academic conference. Our goal is to be educationally sound. And neither is the Big 12. Neither is the Big Ten, neither is the ACC and the SEC, who many consider to be bigger brands in the Big 12. We don't need we don't need to scream in your face. Oh, we have a Stanford to anchor the education of this league. We don't need Stanford's endowment because the money they bring, the money they bring from athletics is just not worth it. Because think about this and their athletic budget's not bad. It's not like they're one of the poorest teams in college athletics. Think about this. The big the big moneymaker for Stanford is Olympic sports. What does the Big 12 not put as much focus on? It's Olympic sports. We are simple people in the Big 12. We like the normal things. We like football and beer, unless you go to BYU or Baylor and and fried food. Stanford doesn't like those things. They don't like fun or their idea of fun is different at Stanford. It's great to be part of the rowing team. It is great to be involved in sand volleyball or other things that I don't care to watch. Sure. Every four years when it comes on TV because the Olympics are on, I'll give it a gander. But I forget that those things exist. I forget that crew exists or field hockey exists until the Olympics comes around. And I don't need Stanford to remind me weekly, hey, underwater basket weaving is on. You should watch Stanford play. We don't need that. And it's not going to help the athletic budget of any other school because what Stanford brings you, they don't bring a travel. They don't bring travel. They don't bring a good a good fan base to your stadium for football. Hell, they don't bring a good football team to play you in football. Instead, they say, ah, see you guys out of the pitch for ye old men's soccer match this week. I don't care. I don't don't think you, the general Big 12 fan, cares. And and Cal, what do we do? Where where are we as a conference that we're having a conversation about Cal? To me, this can't be legitimate. To me, that this is smoke and mirrors. Somebody else is telling you. The, the, the mainstream media is telling you the Big 12 is going to take Stanford and Cal. This is what's going to happen. Somebody over at Cal is ha- hacked into the system because they're geniuses and they throw that in your face. They've hacked into the system to make everybody think that when the ACC says no for obvious reasons, that the Big 12 is going to say yes, and it's not true. The Big 12 doesn't need them. It is so unnecessary. Taking Stanford and Cal would be so unnecessary. One of the worst parts of this whole deal, too. There's Again, there's a lot of ins and outs here. One of the worst parts of this whole deal, you'd be sticking your neck out to overrule the irate eight. Your Baylors, your TCUs, your Texas Techs, the teams that stayed, those eight that remained, your Oklahoma States, the list goes on. They will now be outvoted by new teams. Worse so, you have put, in this scenario, you could put eight irate eight teams and four the, the new AAC BYU teams and then eight Pac-12 teams. You would have a voting block of Pac-12 teams 
that equals that of the remaining Big 12 teams. Do you think that's a good thing? Do you think that's a good thing? That the conference has just imploded, that exploded, that doesn't exist anymore. It's a fugazi. That you allow them the same amount of votes as the geniuses that kept this league alive. Who, who, who says yes? Who says yes? 